Hey there, this is Dawn. Um, and um, this is a video for divine masculines who are in a relationship with someone other than the person whom they believe to be their twin flame. So I'm going to attempt to say some things that have long been on my heart and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> so um, let's see a little bit about me. So I am, um, I am a twin flame and um, not, um, have not, am not and have not been in a relationship with um, my divine counterpart. I've long known who that is. Um, and there have been many points at which our lives intersected in many, actually many different ways. Um, and that was in quite impactful um, on my own journey. And um, that is another story. Um, but I will reference that just a bit here to <clears throat> make a few points or to help you understand my perspective on this. And I hope it's helpful to you. My intention is only to um, share one perspective. There are many, many many <laughs> videos and, you know, kind of other opinions floating around out there. Um, but what I really want to say off the bat to you, Divine Masculines who are watching this, is please, right now, put your hand on your heart, breathe deeply, and know that you've got all the answers right there. Trust that. Trust that. So um, it's really important, I think. Um, I think that that's um, really, right, it's rampant in our world in general. And the advent of the internet and um, the um, self-help self gurus and, and those who um, turn um, service and coaching into something it is not and the, just the times that we're living in, all of that has, has sort of like created this, uh, and we've, we've been willing participants in it, those of us who have sought out information or those of us who have um, attempted to put our perspective as the only perspective. And I hope that I have never done that um, and definitely want you to know that anything that I say is only one it's only one perspective that can help inform your own picture or not, if you so choose. Um, anyway, I think all of that has, you know, sort of created this world that we live in that's just where there's like a lot of ideas swirling around. And that in and of itself causes some of us to just get completely confused and lost and drawn off center. And what I want to call us back to more than anything else is trusting our own hearts. And that includes you, Divine Masculine, in your own life journey. And um, I think that's crucial. It's absolutely imperative that you make um, that you make an active choice in every moment and every day in turn and it's crucial for all of us you know like quite frankly that's the whole point of life is for us to understand that we are choosing and we are are the creators of our own experience um, in those choices um, and a refusal to choose is a choice it is a choice it is a decision um, to not decide is to decide mm -hmm. Because um, you're cutting yourself off in the same way that when you do decide on a course, you cut yourself off from other paths. When you don't decide, you cut yourself off from the opportunity of having made an empowered choice. <laughs> um, so, okay, let me back up. Sorry, I'm just floating all around. All right, so I want to talk to you, those of you who are in uh, partnerships with someone other than your um, divine, sacred union partner, your twin flame. Um, first of all, let me just say I don't like labels, especially don't uh, I don't think that these labels serve us much. It gives us a, a anchor for what this is, and that's helpful. Um, that was helpful to me extremely. Um, so, although, you know, like I finally reconciled for myself about 10 years before I ever saw or heard the word twin flame. Um, you know, I understood what uh, through my own connection with God, I understood what it was that I had I had been called to the path. And I really kind of understood it all my life. I just fought against it for a long time and um, chose to, I made the choice not to choose and, and therefore um, went down a path um, that, you know, was a 
detour, essentially, for me, um, which in my own case was just about me buying into something that um, I felt um, others were speaking to me in their words and their actions by separating me because of my experience related to this twin flame journey and um, a number of other things that, you know, again, created a situation where um, I was the one um, labeled as and took that took that mantle on myself as um, crazy or imbalanced or emotionally immature, or whatever else, mentally unstable. There are, there are lots of them. So, okay. And I, so I'm starting with my own experience. Actually, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here judging myself because I'm like, well, I'm not staying on task. But you know what? Actually, this is related. Okay, so here's what I see when I see other divine masculine counterparts, not just in my own experience, in my own um, my own situation, but um, I see this a lot actually, where the uh, the masculine is um, the one embodying the masculine energy and the twin flame dynamic is. Um, either not deciding or in actively in another partnership. So what I see played out again and again and again um, is this lack of honor, integrity, and love. And it goes around and around and around like a little dance. Okay. So I, what I think that this is really about for all of us who find ourselves in such a situation, whether we are the 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 quote unquote awakened twin, um, and it is true that in many cases the feminine, the one that embodied the feminine energy, um, has um, been aware of this for quite some time, and so that individual, the one embodying the masculine energy, and then that the masculine energies. Um, uh, counter uh, life partner, chosen life partners, whether that be, you know, that can be a lot of things, right? That can be literally just a, sort of a um, diversion relationship is what I like to call them. It can be a lifelong partner, you know, a, a marriage and a soulmate. Um, and that's what the case is. I think in, um, in my own situation is, um, my divine counterpart is married to a soulmate, um, and a beautiful, beautiful woman who actually just, let me just say for the record, love her dearly and, um, have, um, sought always to act with honor and integrity toward her. Although that apparently, um, wasn't what was received. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so um, on, I believe this is about three things, okay? It's about honor and integrity and love for three individuals and in the different dynamics. For yourself first and foremost, for your chosen partner, whether that is a, you know, girlfriend, boyfriend type, you know, um, whether that's a significant other, whether that's a long-term marriage partner, or whether that is <clears throat> um, um, an, a, a continuing um, soulmate relationship of some kind, um, or and uh, in all of those cases, it could be, you know, kind of karmic kind of relationship. Um, I don't like those labels either. Um, I think we're always, <clears throat> we're always, um, we're always learning things from relationships. And to label one kind of relationship as karmic only, um, and another kind of relationship as, oh, the true soulmate, and another kind of relationship with, oh, twin flame. So uh, there are there are distinct differences. So don't hear me wrong. There are distinct differences. And yet, I believe every experience we so choose to participate in has value for us. And that each individual, this is really important. This is the main point of my video. Each individual Every single one of us is beautiful, unique, deserving of love and honor and in, and actions um, and relating uh, to them, that person with integrity. 
my words aren't coming out correctly here, but I think you're going to be able to hear my uh, what I'm trying to say, I hope. <laughs> so um, I, I really think it's about honor and integrity and love. And we have to find that first for ourselves. So a couple of questions for you to ask. Am I in my choices, decisions, or lack of choices and decisions, am I honoring myself right now in my life? in all areas, in my choices with regard to a relationship, in my choices with regard to my work in the world, in my choices with regard to how I choose to invest my time, my money, my energy, my love. Am I honoring myself? Am I in integrity with myself? In other words, to be in integrity with yourself, you've got to integrate all of who you are. You can't be in integrity and be operating in this sort of a sliced kind of view of reality. That's not integrity. That may be, you know, sort of like, I, so I get this image too of like somebody with lots of plates spinning, but, you know, they're all separate plates. I think that we're meant to live in a different way. And so for me, it's about integrity and wholeness and our whole hearts um, I, li I like to refer that uh, to that often in my work as your whole self and your soul self. So am I living in integrity with myself right now? It's a question you can ask yourself. Um, and in full integrity with all I know myself to be. And then the final question is, am I being loving toward myself right now? So the first place to start is to ask yourself those questions about yourself with, with openness. There's nothing, so there's a, um, the quote, the opening lines, I believe it's A Course in Miracles. I've not studied it, but I believe that's where this comes from. There's, the opening lines are that, um, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> no, um, Nothing real can be threatened. Um, and therein lies the peace of God. I'm going to have to put that quote below. I'm so sorry. I'm just not re remembering the whole thing. But the, the the thing I'm trying to say is that we often feel like we need to protect something, okay? We need to protect whether it's our, you know, for you as your relationship over here with uh, your chosen life partner or your chosen whatever. If there is a life partner or there's not a life partner, whatever. Your chosen way, your chosen path, you feel like you need to defend that. Um, there are many divine feminines who feel they need to defend the twin flame relationship defend 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 um and then there are um and not to judge those i think we're all doing the best we can and then there are uh those um who feel that um any um truth that um that somehow their their uh path is threatened by another's truth of a situation and um it, it's you know I think that that's um, an illusion that we buy into. Uh, we've been taught it for sure um, by um, society and religion um, and our um, our experience in this world. And I'm I'm here to say and to suggest to suggest that there's a new way that we can we can do this. We can choose honor and integrity and love for one another. And that goes for each um, of those individuals um, where the masculine is in another relationship. It's an invitation for us to learn to love and honor one another. So um, then the third uh, thing, of course, is for um, us to learn to um, be in honor and integrity and love with um the value and the gifts of other relationships that we see mirrored. So uh, let's think of the three and let's think of the perspectives here, okay? Let's think of the, um, the twin flame dynamic. So there's the opportunity for those who are not um, within that to see it and to choose instead of um, rejecting and judging and pushing it away, usually in fear, um, to honor it. And um, uh, that's 
I'm not going to say that that would be easy because I don't know. Um, and those of us who are in that dynamic need to learn to, again, honor that connection um, and be in integrity with it because it is who we are. It is who we are. And, um, and to come to love that. And what I would, um, my desire anyway, in my, certainly in my own situation, but also for all of those of us who, who have chosen this path is that we can also honor our twin flames choice to either choose to, um, choose to be in union with us of, you know, of his own cho uh, choice at any given time along his path. So whether that is one day after um, there is that full awareness of who he is, or whether that is 50 years, or whether that is not in this lifetime. And it that takes a tremendous, tremendous grace and strength. And I am not always up to that task myself. But I do think it's the path we're called to, is to honor the other's choice and to be in integrity with ourselves and to not diminish the integrity of the connection uh, by lashing out or choosing to judge or to um, react out of our own um, wounding our inner child, um, or, or another part of us that has been wounded by that choice, or the lack of uh, the, the um, you know, the choice to put the blinders on, or the choice to just simply make a choice, um, even with the blinders off, to, to make a choice, um, to not, uh, either not be in physical union, to not participate energetically in things, to close yourself off, and, um, and that's difficult, right? That's extremely difficult within the twin flame dynamic, because that is us, that's a part of us, and that's, it is, we are one soul, and it's, it, it, it is, there is a um, impact on our own experience that we will feel. Um, okay, and that same honoring and integrity and love from within the twin flame dynamic, whether you're in union or not, toward all others who have been in relationship with either of the twin flames and just in general to all others period um and um who are in relationship or not in relationship so you know i guess you know i i, I i'm not articulating this the way i'm seeing it i i often see things in um energetic connections or structures um, that is really hard for me to um, to explain. So I hope that you're understanding the intention here is that it's not uh, that the twin flame is here and then there's all these other things. It's not that. We are all, all, we're doing this together. This is what I want you guys to understand. This is perfect. It's perfect that you, you know, like you chose what you chose and um, you're, partners chose what they chose and your twin flame chose what they chose and it's all beautiful and perfect and in every moment there is the opportunity to to re-examine and to come to whatever is and whatever everybody else's choices are with honor and integrity and love so um as you bring that honor and integrity and love to yourself to your chosen life partner, either whether that is is uh, present here and now, you're choosing that life partner now, whether that is a past uh, partner or relationship um, or someone who contributed something really to your own growth and learning because that just, exp it all expands you more and more and more. So it's yourself, your life partner, and your twin flame. And and in, if we can learn to come and to stand in that center, right, that center point. So not everybody is in this. There's not always the th three or four. Um, you know, I, for many years, um, let me just give you a little bit of uh, understanding about what I chose. Um, 
Um, so I chose, um, let's see, so I always knew and I encountered the person using my twin flame many years ago, actually many, many times, I don't think that he even knows about, but then um, came into my world, um, you know, roughly 30 years ago and I knew him, I knew who he was, but I knew, you know, he was in a relationship and so I chose to honor that and at the time I just kind of doubled down and was going was going through my life and determined to um, follow the rules and make it all work <laughs> just the way you're supposed to do it and um, and all of that and even though I always was aware <clears throat> of what I was called to in this life and and that you know I knew I I was intent on being true to that and yet um, nobody seemed to understand it and whenever I even tried to um, voice that to someone um, it got shut down and so I had my went on my own journey with that whole process um, but I chose to um, so he was in my my world but I, I knew I didn't choose to like put that in his face and I figured you know he either saw me or he didn't and to me it seems like he didn't and so I chose to um, remain present to my own path and to the best of my ability. I did have quite a few challenges with that um, just due to my own, what I was working through on my own. <clears throat> and so um, so there were many times, so I was in and out, well, in and out our paths um, crossed. Um, and I also was in a relationship. Um, I divorced and um, for uh, many years just my um, way of being in honor and, and integrity and love was just simply to be um, present to what was unfolding in my own life and to trust to the best of my ability. Um, and then some more things happened. And uh, the next phase of my own journey, um, I, um, I lost faith. I lost faith. And I really had a, a series of setbacks uh, that did have to do with what I perceived to be um, a lot of judgment and, and betrayal that felt like completely insane to me. I still don't understand any of it. Um, and so um, I gave up, I suppose, on not just the twin flame. I wasn't even, you know, I actually hadn't even, I didn't even have the idea that there could be physical union at that point and it wasn't um, really in my awareness. What was in my awareness was living my life um, to the best of my ability with love and yet it felt like it felt like relentless assault against me. That's just the way I experienced much of what happened um, both from my um, twin flame and from um, from his life partner and from that whole circus, his whole world, actually, it literally felt like his whole world, it wasn't just one world, it was worlds, and, you know, a, a series of things happened in my life, and, um, and then a series of things happened in the world with which I was, um, my life intersected with th those things, um, some experiences, uh, for example, around 9-11 and some other, uh, some other things I was asked to participate in um, energetically that I did to the best of my ability. But to be honest, it just all was so much, it felt like too much to bear. And so what happened for me was I just like chucked it all. I guess I just, I, I like I said, I lost faith and I just put it aside. And, um, and so I made a choice um, to do something, um, that was, I would make the same choice again given the circumstances. So I actively chose to um, be in a partnership uh, with my ex-husband, whom I love dearly. He is my best friend in ever, and I um, very much treasure so so much um, all of the gifts of that experience with him. So I chose to do that for a variety of reasons. Um, and I don't need to go into those reasons now, but we essentially had a platonic relationship and um, it served its purpose. And I am grateful that I was able to be a, um, present to 
live through what we lived through together, you know, like, and, and, and that's the case with my twin flame as well. And, um, so I, <clears throat> I chose to do that, but I, I have to say, so I did that in honor and integrity and love. When I made that choice, there was that honor and integrity and love for my chosen partner, um, in the beginning. And there was for me, and there was for my um, divine counterpart. And yet what I see that I allowed to happen in my own relationship, right, was that I had so many unresolved um, emotions, soul memories, and also, um, you know, like deep emotional uh, connections that I... Um, and I would push them away and I would push them down in those years because I just simply I couldn't bear it on my whole journey. Like for me, it was my whole journey. Um, and so I think that happens for each of us in our own uh, roles and in our own experience. And and then that can get projected outward very quickly and very easily. And we can hurt other people when we are denying any part of ourselves. And what I began to do, because it was so painful, was to deny, um, and I regret this, uh, to deny the um, twin flame connection that was my heart and soul for a while. <clears throat> um, I did that, and the consequences of that are so steep. And they hurt other people that we love. And treasure. It did hurt my life partner. It hurt my son. It hurt me. It probably hurt my twin flame. Um, and possibly even um, other people, it probably rippled out, right? My denial of that connection was harmful. So there was a different way that I could have played that out. Um, I share all that just not just to like I know I'm sorry I do get emotional I'm a very emotional person and um, but know that it is um, the reason I'm sharing that with you is to say that um, I think uh, for for those of you in male bodies and and those embodying the masculine energy it's probably um, a lot simpler to compartmentalize some of that um, and I may be generalizing here so forgive me if that's the case and yet I do think that uh, there is a cost associated with that my own belief is that if we do not at least reconcile within us what is true for us then and if we try to just push it down as I did or pretend it wasn't there or um, otherwise reject it outright and reject the person and your own feelings um, and your own truth and awareness. When we do that, there are there's a ripple effect to that too. That hurts your life partner. That hurts your children. That hurts the, those that you are in contact with, contact with every day. And most importantly, it hurts you. Okay, so it's not about, you're not, it's, it's, we have it backwards. So we think we are dishonoring our life partners, chosen partners, if we are true, uh, if we acknowledge what we know to be true on a deep level about this other person who is our twin flame. No, no. That's not true. Um, I, I really believe, honestly, with all of my, my whole heart that, you know, see, we, we make it all or nothing. Do you see this? Like, do we do you see that we create a false choice for ourselves? We create it's this or it's this. And it is not this or this. Um, there's a both and world that we're invited to be living in right now. And the key words for that world are honor and integrity and love and all of it, all of it bathed in grace because I believe we are held in an infinite grace. We are here doing something extraordinary in these human forms that are beautiful and we have separated ourselves from that. We have separated um, 
humanity, divinity. We have separated all of it. We've separated, you know, we've made all of these rules that are just maddening. Um, you know, for myself, it's been, it's actually kind of funny when I, when I step back and see how this has played out, right? Because I was always aware and I always thought, what the hell is this world that I'm in? <laughs> like, I was always a bit confused by it. Um, and not to be superior, but like, I really was, I was so confused by how we do things here. Like what? Okay, so and so I tried to play along and just pretend I didn't know what I knew and to and about everything, not you know about who we are and why we're here and what we're doing. Um, and it so I tried to like I always say it felt like dumbing myself down. I tried to do that and force myself into this like tiny, tiny little box, you know, and like climb back in the box and be a good girl. And um, and that just does not work for me at all. And, um, and yet, uh, it also does not, does not work when we attempt to, um, force one view of, one view of reality and dismiss all others. And it also does not work when we, uh, choose to, um, make a false choice and I'm choosing this and I will forget this because uh, that does not work when you are a true twin flame that that is not a path that is sustainable and all that will lead to is a hell of a lot of heartbreak in your life and damage <laughs> a trail of damage um, and so there is a better way and that way is to walk through every day with honor and integrity and love toward yourself, toward whoever you are in choosing to be in relationship with in that day, and toward your twin flame or your sacred divine uh, counterpart. I... I think that's what I wanted to say. I, it came out actually a little different than I was anticipating. Um, so you can leave me um, a question or comment if you want. Actually, you know what I, I think I'll do actually is I'm not going to disable comments on this video. Um, but if you would like to email me, you can. And I will put my email um, on my channel and uh, in the in the comments of this video. I'm open to conversation um, as I have time to do that. Um, this is kind of my life of need to live and things I need to do to sustain that life. <laughs> um, but um, I'm happy to have conversation with you. I honor your path um, and I love you all and I just ask you to honor your own path and to walk forward in integrity and with love, with love for this journey that you are making here and now. I, um, <laughs> I have so much love, um, within me that always feels like I can't quite, it doesn't come, it doesn't come out. There's a disconnect there, like in the interpretation, so I'm working on that. All right. Lots of love. <laughs>